Spirit of Beowulf The spirit of Beowulf is alive and well across our land with a legend to tell. Who was this hero we have come to admire? We tell his story with song and lyre. Beowulf is said to be the Prince of Geats, who comes to Denmark and a monster meets. This monster is said to be half man, half beast, who doesn't like noise, treasure or feast. The King of Denmark, Hrothgar his name, enjoys a prosperous and successful reign. He builds a hall that is called Hirot, and all his warriors feast a lot. But all the noise from this hall causes anger to Grendel. He pays a call. This monster lives in swamp nearby and waits till darkness to vent his cry. The warriors try to fight this beast, but they are no match for Grendel's zest. They put their arms to sword and shield, but sadly many are maimed and killed. Far away their plight is heard by a man called Beowulf, who is not a feared. He sails to Denmark with a chosen few, hardy warriors determined to slew. The King of Denmark holds a feast to honour Beowulf in his quest. A man called Unferth doubts the claim and challenges Beowulf to play the game. Beowulf wins and receives the cheer from all the Danish warriors who fear that this great monster will not be slain, so their lives will be normal again. Later that night, Grendel arrived. But Beowulf fights, and Grendel's terrified. How can a man be stronger than he, when unarmed and mortal be? They struggle, and Grendel tries to flee. But Beowulf tears his arm off, you see. Mortally wounded to the swamp he goes, and waits to die. This he knows. The severed arm is hung up high as a trophy of Beowulf's victory. Hrothga holds a feast to honour. This man called Beowulf true warrior. The songs and praise go in tonight. They did not know there was another fight. But Grendel's mother, who was distraught at her son's death, has come to rot. She roared her way to the hall, thrashing those in her thrall. She then did kill the king's advisor, and shrank away before they found her. Beowulf and his fellow men go to the swamp and search for her den. He dives below and finds her lair and kills her with a sword that's rare. He sees the body of Grendel there and brings the head to Hrothgar. The Danish people shout and cheer because he has rid them of all fear. Beowulf returns to his own land where he is fated and held in hand by the king and queen who treat him well with all the stories he could tell. In time, the hero ascends the throne and rules for 50 years alone. He looks after those who want to live 
without the fear that monsters give. When Beowulf is old, a thief disturbs, a mound or barrow a dragon guards. Enraged, the dragon fires his flame on all the gears who wrecked his home. Beowulf knows that though he's old, he must fight this dragon and be bold. This will be his very last fight. The cost is heavy from a dragon bite. The dragon has bitten Beowulf's neck. The venom flows. Its path to wreck. The hero falls and the dragon dies. But Beowulf's spirit will arise. Beowulf made a wish to be buried overlooking the sea. This was done with him went, his sword, his treasure, and his helmet. Today, I think that Beowulf's spirit is on the river and even in it. If you think of just one thing, let it be Beowulf, the hero of